hi guys welcome back to our channel so in the last video we have seen that how you can segment your network using dmz right and also we discussed that dmz is a zone in the firewalls so today let's talk about another aspect of firewalls that how you can create more granular rules that means how you can create more specific rules now you would say that why would we require any kind of specific rules we can still block the traffic based on source ip destination ip source port destination port right based on these kind of things we can block the traffic then why do we require any sort of uh, specific rules okay because we know that day to day the cyber threats they are becoming more and more complex and more and more sophisticated so it is very important that you create specific rules in your firewalls to prevent access to sensitive area areas of your network okay now how can you create these kind of rules so first kind of filtering that we can perform in a firewall is based on ips so we can filter the traffic based on source ip and destination ip okay so we can decide that okay from what ips we want to allow the communication and to what ips we don't want to allow the communication that means allowing and blocking we can do it based on the ip addresses and also this is the same thing that we have been doing so far correct now another way is you can also define ports okay so based on ports also we can filter that okay on what ports your firewall will allow the traffic and on what ports your firewall is not going to allow the traffic these things we can do other than this you can have certain time based rules you can create now what are these time based rules so this is also an interesting and important security measure that can be applied in the network how because you can create time based rules that means for example maybe there is some traffic that you have to allow during your working hours okay if your 10 to 5 is the working hours so during your working hours you have to allow certain traffic but after the company hours after the working hours you might want to block that traffic because nobody is accessing or nobody is using those particular traffic or connecting to those particular websites or ip addresses after a specific point of time so we can decide that okay let's say if i want to allow communication with google so i'll allow it during 10 to 5 only now after 10 to 5 nobody should be able to access google from my network from the internal network so those is that is what a time based filtering okay so that is also very helpful in securing your network and giving access to sensitive parts of your network okay then other than that we can allow application filtering okay so we can also filter based on applications like what applications are allowed to access the network and what applications are not allowed to access the network so those kind of things those kind of rules we can create so that only specific applications will be able to access the network and remaining applications they will not be able to access the network okay so these are few of the filtering other than this you know multiple features are there we can go with the url filterings so that means you can filter out different different urls that what urls your organization network is allowed to visit and what urls they are not allowed to visit okay so there also we can perform category based filtering and specific url based filtering also okay then these are some of the filtering mechanisms and whenever it comes to allowing access or providing uh, privileges to the user so in the security we always follow least privilege principle that means basically the principle of least privilege so what is this principle of least privilege the principle of least privilege defines that a user should get enough access that he can do his job nothing extra than that okay so that means sufficient privilege should be provided only enough privilege should be provided that whatever is the intended job of the user or the employee they can do it and they cannot do anything extra okay now with the help of least privilege principle we can also specify that only specific users will be able to access all the confidential information that can be your financial information financial databases or it can be customer data so that not everyone will have the access so this is one thing another thing what we will uh, we will use and we should definitely use in the networks is that you can perform geolocation based filtering also 
Now, what is geolocation based filtering? So geolocation based filtering is basically where you filter the traffic based on location. Okay. So maybe like your company doesn't have any business in a specific region or country. Okay. So there is nothing to communicate there. Okay. So what you can do, you can filter out or you can block the traffic from that particular country. Okay. So this will avoid you from getting compromised from or getting attacks from those particular places. Okay. So that will be what your geolocation based filtering. That means no attacks will be coming from that place as well as you will not, your organization network will not be able to access that particular locations. Okay. So this is how we can perform geolocation based filterings. So these are some of the techniques that you can use to create specific and more granular rules to avoid today's more sophisticated cyber attacks. If you find this information helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.